Good morning, you guys. Howdy. We're going in to, where are we? We're going into Key Largo and I'm gonna head over to Napa try to get that cap for the fuel filter that's the letting air into that engine, or was. And then I think, uh, I think we're gonna cruise to Isla Mirada today. Is that right? Plantation Key. Somewhere over there. We have a little bit of wind, so hopefully we'll be able to sail all the way there. It's only what, how, 14 miles? 18 miles? 14. Dropped the the piece we needed for reference in between the cracks in Napa. It was hiding under a box. Got it. All right, I'll just write you guys up an invoice for the okay, We kind of have the piece we need. We're gonna have to make some modifications a bit, but I think it'll work just fine. And we're cruising back to the boat. Little hop to Isla Mirada. Sailed off anchor again. Good job, you guys. And we're gonna have to go through a little bridge to get to the bayside, where we'll be a little sheltered from this easterly wind. Pretty light, 12 knots. We're going five to six knots on a run. Yep, smooth sailing. Everything's going good. Just pulling into Snake Creek right now, Snake Creek Channel. We gotta go under Snake Creek Bridge or through it because it's a drawbridge. Sierra did a great job taking down the set. Snake Creek Bridge, Snake Creek Bridge. This is an inbound sailing vessel with adrenaline. Yes, hi there. See you coming. So this bridge is opening only every hour and it's 420 right now so we have 40 minutes to stand by to wait for this bridge to open. Sierra's getting the boat pit gym ready while we're waiting for the bridge to open. All right we're all through the bridge we're on the inside. Sierra's getting her workout in beach fit I mean, boat fit. Guard station over there. Smuggler's Cove right there. Sunken boat in there. Trains are in their backyard. <laughs> we just took Jetty for our morning stroll at Plantation Yacht Harbor Marina here. Beautiful marina. And uh, we checked in on some rates and stuff to see if we could keep the boat here for a few days, a couple days, while we rent a car and drive up to see Sierra's family. So, we're thinking about it. There's a dog park. Aw, Jenny would love that. So we 
got our plans down for the next few next day or two at least at least today <laughs> so i don't I'm gonna go cross <laughs> We are just, what are we doing right now? We're gonna go find the tree fort. The tree fort in the mangroves. And we're gonna try to find some more lobster. Yup. Right now we're just clearing out some GoPros, charging the batteries and stuff, getting some computer work done at the same time, and then we're gonna go find the tree fort in the mangroves, check out to Toilet Bowl Channel, and, uh, and then we're gonna go hunt some lobsters for dinner. Sound like a plan? Check out this off office view. <laughs> Sorry. Still looking for this hidden tree house. Haven't found it yet. All right, I think we found it. I think we found the tree house. Or at least the cut to the tree house. Let's anchor the boat. Is it falling apart? Maybe. I haven't been here since after Irma. <laughs> Maybe I never started it, but then I pressed stop and I thought I pressed it. I'll put the paddle together and you can blow up the board. No, I didn't do paddle. <laughs> Sierra has and supposedly there was a big slide and a rope swing and the hurricane Irma must have destroyed it because all that's left is like kind of rubble. There's a zip line? There's a zip line. It's still kind of cool spot. Alright, our dinghy's still there. Sierra said I smell bad and she didn't want to ride back with me. How is it back there?
Actually, the, a baby manatee is hanging out. We turned the engine off. Oh. Oh, baby, are you having a good lunch? He's just eating, hanging out. Jetty is scared him. Is there more than one? I don't think so. I think that was just his tail. Oh, he's oh, tagged. Huh? Alright, mission one is accomplished. A fine toilet bowl channel and the treehouse. Now it's time for mission two or three. We're gonna go get some lobster for dinner. Wish us luck. Well, Jetty doesn't really let us dive alone, so she's gonna stay right next to us on the dinghy. We're just upwind of adrenaline, so we're gonna just kind of swim along with the dinghy, let the wind push us, and uh, look for some holes and cracks and ledges and stuff, see if we could get some lobster. I'm feeling lucky today. I think we'll get some. You may be wondering why we're putting on wetsuits. The water's been really cold. Relatively not that cold, but for the Keys, it's been a little chilly, right? I mean, still in the low 70s. Yeah, that's still cold. Low 70s. Guess how many lobster we got? But we saw a whole bunch. It's not like we couldn't get them. We got them. They're just too small. All too small. Two close ones. We saw like 20. Right? Yeah, we saw a lot. Well, a lot of really small ones. A bunch of medium ones. Two almost keepers. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>